Welcome to another great series of Mastering Windows Active Directory. In this video, we will learn how to add a new child domain to a parent domain through PowerShell. First off, let's start by renaming our server to reflect its function as a child domain CC. If you need to learn how to create the first domain controller in the forest, you can click the link in the corner. Assign a fixed IP address and a DNS server pointing to the first domain controller. Restart your server for the settings to take effect. Set the time zone and install Active Directory servers as its intended role. Promote this server to be the domain controller of the newly created child domain. We will need to configure the domain type as child domain. Make sure that you have just its subdomain as its new domain name and enter its root namespace in the parent domain name. We will need to enter the domain credentials through the credential prompt if you have not joined the domain and log on as enterprise administrator. Set the safe mode admin password for the domain controller in case of recovery. During promoting the server to the domain controller, this will take a few moments. When completed, your server will require a restart. After everything has been set up and you have logged back on to the server, make sure that all required servers are up and running for the domain controller to function correctly. Check if SMB shared are open for the network logon. See the network event for any unusual warnings and alerts. If you like this video, click the like button and make sure you subscribe for more future content.